In this video, I will show you how to pass a network connection between two telephone sockets. This will provide more stability than a wireless connection while having speeds comparable to that of an Ethernet connection. Some important things to note. Firstly, sockets which are found between the two network sockets will become redundant. Secondly, this method will not work with the master socket as it contains built-in filters which prevent the signal from passing through. For this guide you will need two wired BT plugs taken from either a phone cable or a multi-output adapter, two RJ45 Ethernet plugs with optional Ethernet plug boots, two RJ45 Ethernet coupling blocks, two Ethernet cables rated CAT5 or higher, a screwdriver, and an RJ45 Ethernet crimping tool. You may also need a punch down tool and a network cable testing kit. Before proceeding any further, we must firstly disconnect the extension sockets from the rest of the telephone network. This can be done either in the master socket or in the first socket that is to be networked. With the screwdriver, remove the two screws from the front of the telephone socket. Once these screws have been removed, you can pull out the front faceplate of the socket, being careful not to disconnect any of the attached wires. Once the socket has been opened, it is important to note down the colour and terminal number for each wire as not all sockets are wired in the same way. In the master socket the black cable connects to the outside telephone network and needs to remain connected. Any other cable in this socket will lead to your extension sockets and should be disconnected in order to network them. In the extension sockets the cables are not so clearly marked and so you'll need to disconnect one of the cables and check for a dial tone. If a dial tone is present, then you have disconnected the wrong cable and you will need to reattach its wires with the punch down tool. After you have identified and disconnected the correct cable, you can reassemble the socket. With the sockets disconnected from the telephone network, you can now look to make the RJ45 to phone plug adapters. If you are using a phone cable to make the adapters, then cut off the plug end leaving about 15 to 20 centimeters of attached cable. If you have the optional boot, you can slip this over the free end of the cable. Now with the crimping tool, strip about 2 centimeters off the plastic sheath to expose 4 wires. If you have a multi-output adapter, then open it either with a screwdriver or by pulling up the side tabs. Once it is opened, use wire cutters to snip the phone plug free from the circuit board. Try to cut as close to the board as possible, as you'll need the wires to be at least 2 cm long. To remove the plug, press in the tab on it and pull it free. Now it is time to fit the Ethernet plug to the adapter. With the latch of the Ethernet plug on the underside, put the wires into pins 1, 2, 3 and 6. It does not matter which wire goes into which pin, as long as you repeat the same for the second adapter. Make sure the wires are visible in the end of the plug and then crimp them firmly in place with the crimping tool. Repeat these steps again to create a second phone to Ethernet adapter. With both these complete, these can be connected to each of the extension sockets. To each of these, then connect an Ethernet coupling block. If you have the optional network test kit, you can hook this up to ensure the connection is working. You should see matching lights on pins 1, 2, 3 and 6. After you have checked that the network is working, you can connect the Ethernet cables and the two devices you wish to network. In my case, I have networked a desktop PC to a router. 
I have used the program LAN speed test to compare the results of this phone cable against a CAT5, CAT6 and a flat CAT5 Ethernet cable. As you can see the results obtained from using the phone cable are not quite as fast as those from a standard Ethernet cable. However, it should be fast enough for typical network usage. This concludes the video on passing a network connection between two telephone extension sockets. Thank you for watching.